music is a feeling. You know, you can kind of get any emotion when you listen to music. If you want to be happy, if you're going through a sad time, you need to be uplifted, you can turn on a song. Well, I'm Tyler, this is BK. We're Florida Georgia Line. Uh, we're here tonight in Nashville, Tennessee. We're gonna uh, listen to the new record. We're gonna play uh, a show and, and play a lot of new music and play some old music as well. Some fans are gonna be here tonight. We're really excited. Uh, it's gonna be intimate. It's gonna be awesome. We actually grew up learning how to play guitar and sing in church. So there's a lot of diversity in our music and our influences, and, and I think that's what uh, keeps this thing rolling and keeps it interesting and keeps it fun. And uh, there's really no boundaries, man. All the way from George Strait and Garth Brooks and Tim McGraw and all the way to Lil Wayne and Eminem. We kind of put all of our influences together and, and write the music that we want to write and play the music we want to play. And uh, the fans are loving it. We're having fun doing it, so it's amazing. This is our third album. Whatever emotion you want to get, there's a song out there on this record for that. There's feel-good songs, there's emotional songs, there's um, nostalgic songs, there's songs about uh, just goofing off or songs about real life, about marriage. Um, we've really poured our heart and soul into this. That's kind of our been our goal with all of our records is just be real with our fans, let them connect with whatever song they connect to. So this is this is a very exciting record for us, and we can't wait for for it to be out for the world to hear it. It's easy living right beside we knew going into the third album we had to do something fun. We had to switch it up, and at the same time, you got to be patient because it's all about the songs. It's all about the timing. You never know how it's going to work with other people's you know singles. We always love reggae, beach, cool, chill vibes, and that's that's kind of life as a honeymoon. So it's kind of a Ziggy Marley, you know, was an easy target for us. And Tim McGraw, I can tell you where I was when I heard "Don't Take the Girl." He's such a huge influence on, on all of our music. So we just asked him to be a part of it, and he fell in love with "May We All." I think this is it's a different album. We got some more collaborations, so I think it's just uh, it's gonna be good. Love keep us lifted, my dear. Our fans and us, we feed off of each other. You know, Tyler and I feed off each other, we feed off, off of our fans, and we kind of go where the energy is. Everybody's there to have a good time. Everybody's there to forget their worries and to escape, you know, real life for a little bit and come party with their boys. And that's, that's you know, the, the place that we create, and uh, we have a lot of fun doing it. We want to continue to do this for a long time, man, and I think uh, the fans deserve that. We always say, sing every song like it's your last song that you're going to get to sing, and you know, leave everything out on stage, man, 110%. We really do push each other to be the best that we can be and, and put on the best show that we possibly can to see how big this thing can really get, you know? We're pumped about the rest of the year, going to be busy, and uh, just trying to blow it up like FGO does. Thank you.